Well, hi everybody, and welcome to Moodle Support Theater. We're going to continue from where we left off in our last presentation and work on putting up some course information in the upper right hand corner. So, as we look at our screen, we see Quick Mail and Administration in the right hand corner, but we don't see that HTML block we created in the last session. That's because we didn't do anything with it and it's hiding. So, let's come up and turn our editing on. And there's our new HTML block. We're going to go to the hand holding the pencil, give it a little click, and now here's our configuring an HTML block screen. We can put a title, and I'm just going to type that in. I'm going to type in Moodle 101, and I like to cut and paste. And I like to cut and paste from a text file so I don't get all kinds of garbage in here from XML. That's what kind of holds the new version of Word together. So I wrote it in Word, I saved it as a text document, and I've used Control V and pasted it right here into the screen. And as you see, it says Professor Moodle, where the class is located, Office and even the word email. And that's just kind of out there. We're going to deal with that in a second. I'd like to include the Moodle picture, so I'm going to go right after Professor Moodle, click and press enter. That'll give us a space. And now we come to our icons at the top of this box and we can spot the happy face over there on the right hand side fairly simply come over to and you see that thing that says insert image. It looks like a picture inside a frame. Give it a click. In a new class you're not going to have any images. If you did have images in the white box in the center on the left where it says file browser you'd have a whole list of images. We don't have any yet. This is a brand new course shell. So let's come down to the bottom left hand corner and find the button that says browse. And We're going to browse to where we keep our pictures. I like to keep mine in a central area so they're easy to find. Wherever you choose to put them is the correct spot. I've got mine in a folder. I'm going to select it and the location path will appear in this browse window. Right next to it is upload and boom you've uploaded your photo. Click on the name of the photo and what will happen is a preview will appear in the right hand center section and right above it the size of the image. Now the image I have here is 500 by 724 way too big for the area that we want. So there's a lot of things you can do if you want to pre-size your image and your photo sh uh, shop or uh, Picasa savvy. It's a fine idea. I just like to come up and uh, take it to a two-digit number. So I'm removing the zeros from both of those numbers making it 50 by 72. A little small but we can make it bigger easier than trying to shrink it down. For our spacing, I like 8. Spacing is how much room you've got around your image. 8 to 10, some people like 5, some people like 15. 8 is a nice workable number and I like a 1 for the thickness of my border. You don't have to have one at all, but 1 sets it off kind of nicely. Now we are an ATI compliant campus, so I'm going to type Professor Moodle where it says alternate text. That's so if a person is using a screen reader or an adaptive device, they'll have an idea what the image is about. Select OK in the upper right hand corner and there is our picture. As I said, a little small, so let's click on the picture. Notice you get the little pull points appearing all the way around. Go to the upper right corner and as you begin to pull, you'll notice you see some numbers. I'm going to go to approximately 75 for my first number. That's a good size image in this area. The second thing you're going to want to do is highlight the word email and very close to where we did our image come over to the left a few there's an anchor and to the immediate right of the anchor there's a link of chain. Click insert web link. There'll be an HTTP in the URL. Let's wipe that out and let's type mail to mail to colon and then your email address. That's all there is to it. 
select OK, and notice that link is now a hot link and will immediately email directly to your email address. I'm then going to press Control A to highlight everything, and right under where it says the type style, you'll notice you have an opportunity to justify this and put it in the center. Go ahead and save your changes and there you have your faculty information block. This is not mandatory by any means, it's just something students find very, very useful to know where the class is, what the office hours are, as well as how to get in touch with the professor. So, we're going to complete this section. Next time we're going to begin uh, describing in detail how to use the Add an Activity drop-down section that you see here on your screen. So come on back, we've got more fun ahead, and remember we're here to help. If you've got any questions, give us a call at extension 3633.